Welcome back to SHOT Show 2018. We're broadcasting live here at the Brownells booth. I'm Steve Ostrom, and with me I have Matt from Hawa, and he's brought some really cool stuff for us to look at. Matt, thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me, Steve. Thanks. What's going on in the world of Hawa? Uh, a lot, a lot. Uh, we've been getting a ton of, attra uh, of attraction uh, for the, all the new offerings, trying to you know, stay at the, the forefront of everything um, and produce some really high quality products for, for everybody. We've been selling a ton of what we get from you already, just in the present product line. Right, and what you're carrying a lot of uh, this year from us is actually the barreled actions. Yes. So Brownells has the exclusive on all the Howa barreled actions. So if anybody wants to start a custom build with a Howa, they have to, they have to get the from the guys at Brownells, Brownells have a build going on a Howa action right now. Right, They're, uh, the quality of it's second to none. That's right, no, no barreling in, uh, required, no custom gunsmithing, plug it in and go. Right. And they shoot. They shoot, so we guarantee the barreled actions for sub MOA with uh, you know, high quality factory ammo and then uh, lifetime guarantee, so it's, it's kind of like buyer's insurance. I notice a lot of my friends and colleagues that are building, they're putting together long range guns and they've chosen your system to do it. Right, and we actually have uh, several different caliber options um, available, different barrel lengths. We, we introduced uh, 26 inch heavy barrels this last year because there was a demand for 26 inch barrels, heavy barrels, right. uh, for people that are looking to push the, the, the velocity envelope. Sure. Um, so new for this year, we're going to release the uh, six millimeter Creedmoor. Oh, that's going to be hot. It, it already is, the response has been great. Uh, you know, last year we had a ton of requests to do it, and, right. and I'm a personal fan of it, so. You were, you were really putting, pumping out as many 6.5s as you could, weren't you? We can't, we can't get enough. We can't make enough. We, it's, uh, we sell every one we get. Right, and, both 6.5 Grendel and 6.5 Creedmoor. I yeah. know 6.5 Grendel has been huge for you guys. Yes, it has, yes so. it has. The 6.5 is, is, I don't know, last year everybody seemed to be building one. Right, and uh, that's that's really helped us uh, in push barreled actions, and and then uh, people start gravitating towards the quality how, and they say what else. Mm -hmm. So, and and you guys have done a great job of uh, making parts available to complete those builds. So, uh, I know there's been a number of publications that have actually taken that route and uh, chosen Brownells to do custom builds off the how actions and shown people what they can do. I like that you've been able to provide us with barreled actions, both with and without muzzle threads. So you got that option. You don't have to take it into the gunsmith to have threads cut on it. Right. Uh, going forward, the uh, all the heavy barrels will actually become threaded. Cool. So, uh, you know, in the past, it's been a, it was a uh, varmint taper with with no threading, and then right. it would cost uh, someone, you know, over a hundred dollars to have a muzzle yep. threaded, so they can add a muzzle brake or a suppressor uh, suppressor use. And uh, in muzzle accessories, is a huge aftermarket accessory market. So we are going to cater to that, and so every every heavy barrel is going to be threaded. Right. And got some pretty cool color options too. Right, we, uh, we ha actually have an in-house Cerakote and Hydrographics facility, so uh, th the various Howell models we do, we have different color options and camos and everything. That thing must be going every day, just full, full blast. Oh, it doesn't stop. Yeah. You can put together a really neat looking rifle with some of those color patterns, mixed black, flat dark earth, all kinds of stuff. Right. Um, and, and the great thing about the, the build property is you get to build a rifle to suit, suit the needs. Right. So whether it's hunting, target shooting, hybrid, uh, you can really do anything with the Brownless catalog. And I've noticed, you know, and it's a testament to the quality, there's a lot more aftermarket stuff available for the Howe action than there ever has been. Right, that was, a, that was a common complaint, you know, in years past of, you know, I have the barreled action, you know, I, I, bought, a, I bought a XYZ rifle from us, but right. I want to change it up and the, the options are limited. But you'd be hard pressed to walk the floor today and find a manufacturer that doesn't make something for Howe. That's right, scope mounts are all over the place, stocks are all over the place, yep. and nice stuff. Right, so you can really customize and make your own. Yeah. So. Doing a build on one of these barreled actions is something pretty much anybody can do. Right, it's, it's really plug and play. Uh, two action screws right. um, and torque them down, 50 all inch you, pounds, away you go. All you have to do, be able to do is run a screwdriver or an Allen wrench and you're in business. Right, stocks nowadays have really come a long way for, uh, in terms of quality and uh, the, the tolerances of how actions are, are super tight so there's not much variance on them. So, uh, you know, 99.99% of the time you're gonna grab a how barreled action, throw it in any stock, chassis right. system, it's gonna shoot well under an inch. And if they even don't want to build it, if they just want to buy the complete gun, you can fix them up there too. Uh, of course, and that's obviously a huge portion of our business. So we can actually uh, switch gears and talk about this. Uh, I, I keep looking at it. I want to talk about it. So this year, the, uh, we have a new offering, uh, the Howa Bravo. So this is a, uh, the one you have in front of you is a 24 inch heavy barrel. Um, like I said, this is going to be available in uh, 308 Winchester, 6.5 Creedmoor, 6 millimeter Creedmoor. So 
the, uh, the idea about behind the uh, KRG Bravo chassis system is it's going to blend the new age chassis system with the full length uh, aluminum skeleton, so it's super rigid. Right. Uh, it's got M-Lock compatibility. You can really use all the full line of uh, KRG accessories or uh, common M-Lock stuff. Nice. Um, so you can really customize it. But this, this is more of a crossover between traditional varmint style stock and new age chassis system. So we actually had a lot of people say that they didn't care for the chassis system look. They didn't like the feel of it, but they still wanted the, the modularity and custom customization. They don't want to put an AR-15 stock Right, on right. And uh, they don't want to deal with it. It's extra parts. So yeah. uh, this is really the the, the simple solution, and, it, and it's fantastic. It's a nice looking stock, and it looks very comfortable with that vertical grip. Right, you vertical grip. You can wrap your thumb around or ride it on the side if you like to shoot thumb over. Uh, adjustable length of pull, really thick, nice, soft uh, recoil pad. Even though it's short action calibers, it soaks it up. Yeah. So it's well, a minimal recoil. You get something like this, you probably want to shoot it a whole lot. A whole lot. So the recoil pad is going to help. Right, all day shooting prone or sit on a bench, it, it, it'll, it'll wear on you. So uh, I imagine you sell. Uh, a lot of these in short actions. Is there a long action version available of this? Not yet. So like I said, the, the three calibers that we're moving on for this year is going to be 308, right. 65 Creedmoor, 6 millimeter Creedmoor. Because sooner or later, you know, people are going to be knocking on your door saying, I need I want it in 300, 300 wind mag. mag. Yep. Yep. And then also we've had a ton of requests for the mini actions, which I, oh, yeah. I don't have. A, I don't have a timeline for that, but uh, we're looking at you know having that developed as well. Oh, when we picked those up, I thought that was so great. Those mini actions are beautiful. Right, and the mini actions uh, th themselves, they actually have uh, a couple chassis options out there. Accurate Mag is, is making a chassis for it, which is actually on our uh, our new for 2018 uh, mini action chassis rifle. So we have that right. 6.5 Grenel 762 by 39, and then also I know uh, MDT chassis systems. Uh, yeah. They they carry a. a, a chassis for the mini action as well. That mini action is just perfect for those two rounds you mentioned. I mean, it just, right. just fits like a hand in a glove. Right, and that's actually, you know, they're all based on uh, 223 overall length, you know, right. thereabouts, right. Um, and, and they, they perform great. That's kind of reminiscent of the old days when Mauser would build custom length actions for different calibers. You know, Correct. You get a, a shorter one for 250 Savage or something, or the, the standard for 8mm Mauser, then a longer one for the Magnus. You guys got that fitted down on those calibers to where, you know, it's, it's just it's everything anything, you want. Anything in a short action for that length of cartridge is really overkill. Mm -hmm. So a lot of manufacturers like our standard short action house for 223 or 204, you're having to run that magazine box spacer, you know, in the factory yes. magazine. So it's really kind of inconvenient, different bolt stops. So the solution is actually to build an action suited to that. So that's right. why we have the mini action. That's actually, and like I said before, it's a great seller on Brownells. We, oh, it we is, sell, we sell a lot. lot of those things. Yep, and it's an awesome, awesome option. It's a great, uh, great hunting cartridges, 762 by 39 and 65 Grendel, uh, capable long range car uh, cartridges as well. Um, uh, mild youth calibers, uh, you know, uh, mid range hunting, short range hunting. Uh, they're, they're great options. Now this particular system, how many caliber options do I have in that right now? For the short action? Yeah. The short action we're doing. It's a pretty good list. It's, it's an expansive list. And it seems to be growing and growing, but yeah. uh, actually, currently right now in short actions, we have 223 Remington, uh, 7 Odd 8, 308, 65 Creedmoor, 6 millimeter Creedmoor, and uh, I, think, I think that's about it. Okay, yeah. And but our total caliber list for short, long, and mini is, is quite large. I know, I know, it's kind of bewildering. We probably, we probably glossed over some too, I'm probably forgetting some. <laughs> but it's just a turnkey system if you want to go out and shoot small groups at long distance. Every, this has been very carefully thought out. Right, it's, it's a very well designed chest system. And you're using proven magazines, AICS pattern. AICS pattern, pattern yes. Uh, and the, the Howas will feed off of any brand AICS pattern. We've, okay. run, we've run everything from the, uh, the Accurate Mags, the AI, to Mag Poles, to MDTs. I mean, you name an AI mag, we've That's run good. it and it works great. That's good, there's a lot of different mags out there and a lot of good ones. Right. So. What kind of trigger can we expect out of this? So the, the HOAs come with the two-stage hack trigger since we're a HOA actuator controlled trigger. So um, if, if uh, the viewers don't understand what a two-stage is, the rifle is clear and safe. Yep. Um, a two-stage trigger, you're going to have about a pound of take-up. So you're going to have a little bit of slack is what it feels right. like. But you're basically right. thinking of like preloading a trigger. Yeah. So it's a three-pound overall break from the factory, but you're really taking up about a pound of that. So the remaining pull is about two pounds. So what you, what you get is a very short, sharp break, minimal over travel, light sear engagement. So it, it's a really fantastic trigger. Nice and crisp. Right, and then another change that we're, we're moving on to, we'll see this in the, 
later in the year is, is all the, the bolt handles as well for the heavy barrel options will come threaded. So I love that. Uh, it'll really give the end user the option of changing out the, the bolt knobs and running a larger one or a smaller one. I like that. Uh, a lot of people are going to that. It just makes it so much easier, especially when you're shooting prone or something. Right. Or running the rifle fast or yeah. you know, larger rounds. Yeah. Um, you know, we had this uh, we had a larger bolt knob uh, on, version of, on a 300 wind mag that was just fantastic because it actually gave you lever to run that bolt quite fast. You know, over the years, I've been gunsmithing now since since the 80s, and we've seen the basic Hawa action under a lot of names. Right. I've always marveled at its simplicity and the robust design. There's just nothing there that doesn't need to be there. Right. It's a good, reliable gun made out of great steel, nice machining. Right, the, the tolerances and everything, uh, the head spacing is always super tight. Lug contact is, is always spot on. Um, and, and it's got some distinct features that you won't find in, in other, other rifles. So, um, like the M16 style plunger ejector and extractor, long claw extractor, which is right. a great system, it's super reliable. Uh, it's a 90 degree two lug bolt throw. Uh, the bolt itself is a forged one piece, one piece bolt. And the, the bolt handle itself actually acts as a, a third safety lug. And cool. In the bolt body itself, you actually have three pressure uh, vent holes to, in case there's an overpressure cartridge yeah. that it has somewhere safely to go. So that's huge. There's safety built into the whole design. It is. It's as as well with the trigger, it's a three position safety, so forward to fire, middle, and you can unlock and unload the bolt, but it's still safe, yep. and then back locks the whole thing. That is a big deal. It's just like having a Winchester three position safety. Right. right. But a little easier to use. I, I love having that option of you know the guy next to me being able to unload his gun without taking the safety all the way off. Right. And me too. I mean, geez. But a lot of uh, a lot of different companies that we know and love have built have gotten a reputation for accuracy because of the Howa barrel. <laughs> Yes. It's kind uh, of funny. How, Nobody knows it's Howa, but... Uh, Howa is actually uh, one of those brands that's actually uh, created, created a, quite its own reputation, its own cult following, yeah. which is growing uh, all the time. Yeah. Um, we see it all the time. We track so social media as well as forums and everything, keep track of that. And, and you know, it, there's really not a whole lot bad to say about the action in the rifles. Well, it's, it's not easy to find a great product like this at a great price. Correct. And you've managed to combine the two. Right, and our philosophy for anything new products coming out is we're trying to maximize what you get out of that product. Yeah. Not just sell you something, but we want you to enjoy it and like it and, and love using it. But there was a time when you had to mortgage your house to buy a long range rig like this. Right, right. You had to put it right. together from different angles. Uh, source of stock here, source of trigger, source of action, source of barrel. Especially if you wanted a, an accurate rifle, you're going to have to have that custom rifle built. Lead right. time's extremely long, labor's is, is very intensive, uh, so it's... it's uh, the solution is buying a good, accurate, accurate factory rifle. The uh, the Howa Bravo 6mm Creedmoor that we had at range day, I took it out the week before, we shot out 1,200 yards. First group out of it was uh, about half inch group with Hornady 108 grain ELDM. So yeah. it, it was a performer straight off. So And that was yeah. the first one that we've had. I, I've had really good luck with Hornady ammo, actually. Um, I, I bought Hornady ammo for different guns, intending to reload just to get the cases, because I couldn't get cases. Right. The load shot so well, I never bothered to reload. I had that. That happened the other day, actually, with yep. the six mil creed more from yep. them. Yep. Why bother? Right. So, yeah, especially if you're shooting an accuracy cartridge long range, uh, you can just plug it into a Hawa and go. Right. It's not going to be a problem. It's up to you, the shooter, to, to get it to small groups because the gun will do it. So, do you do a lot of shooting yourself? I do. I do. I uh, I shoot quite a bit. Uh, do you get a lot of input on on what happens next? Where we? What yes. cartridges get? Yes, put in? and I actually. I, I do have a very big influence on that and keeping uh, keeping abreast with trends, uh, coming up with ideas to really maximize things. So we've got some projects in the works that people will be very excited to see. Okay. These things take a little time. Are they secret projects? Kind of, yeah. Oh, okay. You can't you can't let them all out early, yeah, you know. I understand. You know, we've, stuff we'll be looking at releasing later on in the year. Some exciting okay. offerings. Uh, so. Yeah, I do. I do get to shoot a lot. I uh, travel and shoot uh, competitively. Um, I do three gun USPSA. Uh, started in doing the, uh, the the precision rifle matches with the uh, National Rifle League, right. and uh, we're actually becoming a season sponsor with them. Okay. So uh, we're just going to see lots of Howa and long range Howa stuff out there. You know, with something like this, do you market at all to the military uh, or law enforcement market in like in 308? Do, oh no, do, so do you market to uh, law enforcement. So this is going to have to be cut out, but uh, just for your knowledge. We're just live. So, oh, right, it's live. So, so. No comment? No comment. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, this is this is Facebook Live, right, right, so right. we are on. So I look at that and I see, you know, I see blue uniforms around it. Oh, you know? no, so that we, I actually can't 
can't market towards that. Okay, understood, understood. Still, it's a great design. You know, I wouldn't mind yeah. issuing a gun like this. Right. It's simple, easy to maintain, shoots well. So, it gives the average man a really nice long range rig. Of course. So, um, do you do more of a sporter type stock for the hunter? Right. Uh, we have some new offerings uh, this year. Uh, one, an HS precision stocked rifle. That's, oh, uh, HS. So that's going to be huge for the hunting market. Uh, yeah. We have a couple different barrel options for that. We have a 26 inch hunting uh, taper with threaded muzzle and threaded bull right. handle. It's going to be great. We'll have that in a number of caliber, short action and magnums. And then we have a, in that same breath configuration, we'll have our standard 22 inch uh, hunting taper as well. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any wide foreign varmint type stuff? Uh, a lot of the, the, a lot of the wide foreign stuff is just transitioning into the chassis market okay. and stocks like okay. this. Because I'll bet a lot of varmint hunters are, are Hawa fans. Right. It'd have to be. We, we do get a lot of requests to do prairie dog shoots and things like that, uh -huh. so especially in the, the little short action calibers. So. Well, your, your small calibers uh, are just so accurate. I know, I know everybody would want to try them out. Yep. That'd be great. And you were out of range day? I was, all day. day. Yep. yep. How'd that go? It was very busy. It was, uh, it was one of the busier ones we've ever had, so it was quite successful. Yeah. And uh, we had the Bravo uh, up on the tripod all day, and people just running around, around through it. I'll ask, even though I probably know the answer. How, how was it received? What do they think? What's the average well person received. think? You know, well it's, received. It's never had hands on it before. So they, they really comment on the ergonomics and the smoothness of the action, and then how the overall package feels. Wow. That means you guys are doing your job. Yep. Do you have a, a research and development team, or is that just you and another guy talking at lunch, or how does that work? <laughs> uh, how, does, how does something like this come to fruition? r and is a, a combined effort. Yeah. Uh, we try to bring everyone to the table and their ideas and see if we can't make it work. Uh, a lot of it comes down to input from consumers. Right. I mean, it's not easy to come out with your own stock. That's a lot of work. Right, so we actually, uh, either we try to partner with other companies yeah. to, to assist us in that, or try to uh, have something adapted that's already available. And you can't tell us what new calibers are coming or anything? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe next year. Next year, you'll see a whole lot. Maybe we should do this again next year. I think so. Man, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks, Steve. It's been a pleasure. We'll have to do this again. Of course. I enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. From, Facebook, from Brownells booth at Facebook Live, this is Steve Ostrom signing off. Thank you very much.